What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to another video here today for part 60 of the F1 career mode for the Brazilian Grand Prix. If you go on to enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video like this, especially with two rounds to go that are very much going to be very intense and very kind of sweaty in a way from my perspective. So basically, moral of the championship is we have to win here in Brazil and Verstappen has to finish sixth or lower for us to still be in the hunt for the title. If he finishes higher than sixth, then we're out of the fight. So back to Brazil. We're going to be doing a one-stop strategy from the softs. Sutton on the soft, you can see I'm just playing about with some strategies. I was very confused with the strategy for the fact I know you can go longer on the softs and then go to the mediums. So we'll start on that. We'll go to the hards and then we'll see how it plays out. But preferably the medium will be the better option. And that's what I am thinking of doing, as you can see here. So that's the strategy. And this is the grid, slightly different grid today. Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton and Leclerc, Brown, Butler, Magnussen and George Russell, Giovinazzi, Gasly, Sergio Perez and Albon, Faber, Stroll, Daniel Ricciardo and Roman Grosjean, Holkenberg and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. And, and so as the five red lights come on here for Brazil. It's lights out and away we go Sebastian Vettel's got a good start but not as good as Carlos Sainz, Carlos Sainz leading then into turn one, we're going to absolutely send it down into turn one, round the outside now of Lewis Hamilton, we're on the back of Valtteri Bottas, we've gone a little bit wide, side by side of Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton there in the background. But out in front, it is Carlos Sainz from Sebastian Vettel. Then it's the other Alpha, and down here. So we've gone off the track. We nearly made contact with Charles Leclerc, I think it was. We lost out to Charles Leclerc. Now Lewis Hamilton has lost out to, I believe it is Max Verstappen. So that's not where we want Verstappen as we send it down the inside of Charles Leclerc. And we are back up into fourth. And we kind of need to hope something happens bad to Max Verstappen here is on to lap two. Charles is coming back at us, but we defend him. And I'm sure there'll be more and more waves of attack from the Monagas. As there's probably going to be another one here. This is a great camera angle, this one. As he thinks about it into turn four. Skipping on one more lap and we are able to take the fight to Valtteri Bottas as we sail round his outside at turn four and into third place and now we can get the hammer down and here comes Sebastian and um, Max Verstappen rather round the outside of Valtteri Bottas, Bottas defending to the outside, they're side by side, Verstappen's got past Charles Leclerc somewhere then but Valtteri Bottas looks to have defended that one and but there goes Charles look at Charles trying to go around the outside we all know what happened the last time two Ferraris tried to do, go side by side into turn four they're still side by side now going into turn six I think it is it looks like Leclerc just has the edge over Verstappen I think Verstappen's still there he is still there he's gonna keep it round the outside this is the most awkward camera angles ever they're still side by side Charles Leclerc now has he got the inside line and he's finally got that move done on Max Verstappen and now he can maybe start challenging Valtteri Bottas again but I don't think Max is done yet as they head back up the hill to start another lap of this great circuit in Brazil into the center races the first couple of corners as is Max going to have a go? Max is not going to have a go as, as Lewis Hamilton is going to punch his weight and go down the inside of Max Verstappen and does get past Max Verstappen there. That is good for us. But now Max is not done. He's going to have a little look. But Pierre Gasly is having a look at him as well. There's a Renault in the background there. I think that's... that's 
Daniel Ricciardo as here comes Lewis Hamilton now trying to get past the other Ferrari but he can't as there goes Charles Leclerc actually having a go on factory Bottas there can Max Verstappen have a look here no he can't but on to lap 8 down the inside goes Max Verstappen back on Lewis Hamilton the side by side as they go through the centre S's and now towards turn 4 as we ride on board with Lewis Hamilton briefly there and Max Verstappen but Hamilton's left defending Pierre Gasly into turn 4 Pierre Gasly thought about having a go Hamilton thought otherwise and tried to get back past Verstappen but he couldn't do neither as there goes Pierre Gasly swapping Lewis Hamilton the dummy and now the side by side going through the centre S's and Pierre Gasly has got the job done fairly comfortably there that Mercedes is very much down in the midfield now and rumours coming out that Lewis Hamilton is kind of thinking about moving away from Mercedes where he spent most of his career as skipping on now here comes Charles Leclerc down the inside of Valtteri Bottas Bottas not giving up there they're both side by side in the background as well but Pierre Gasly has got past Max Verstappen but Bottas is not giving up Charles got the job done Bottas is going to fight back here and does re-overtake this is a mental battle for P4 in this race if you want to know what we're doing we're just kind of maintaining the pace trying to get on the back of Sebastian Vettel and Carlos Sainz here they are flooding through so it's got a good gap over Vettel and now we're kind of just sat there behind Vettel just trying to catch him basically but here comes Pierre Gasly now in the background sending it on Charles Leclerc trying to go around the outside of Charles Leclerc and gets the job done that is a, that is a great move by the Frenchman as on lap 13 the deed is done in this first stint as there is Sebastian, I'm um, sorry, actually Bottas making his stop and everyone going on to the hards it seems on this bit so the AI very much thinking the hards are the tyres to go on skipping on to lap 18 and Sebastian Vettel doing the same as his teammates skipping on to lap 17 and on the end of that lap into the pits does come Carlos Sainz from the lead of the race so now we will take the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix and he's going to go onto the mediums and on to lap 19 we extended a couple more we are going to come into the pits and do the same as Carlos Sainz and go on to the mediums so it's the sake of a couple of laps so the mediums are can, can go the distance compared to the hard so not really too sure what it's going to happen later in the race hopefully these mediums do kind of have a bit more pace than the hards you would have thought that they would be in a little bit softer than the hards we're going to come out though behind our teammate who's still yet to pit in this race and actually started on the hard tyres so we're going to make up some ground Charles Leclerc in the background, both Ferraris in fact have got past Valtteri Bottas and Valtteri Bottas is slowing down here and Valtteri Bottas looks to be out of the race he was having such a good race through it he was really getting his elbows out in that opening stint but now just like real life he is out of the Brazilian Grand Prix and the safety car is also out and that is really really annoying for us because literally one lap beforehand or even two laps one or two laps beforehand we we would have, we were pitting anyway so we could have potentially be leading the race if we had stayed out or Bottas his engine went a few laps prior to that but on the end of lap 23 the safety car is going to come in and it is going to be Carlos Sainz to lead them away from Sebastian Vettel and then from George Russell and then us 
George Russell, for some reason, Williams choosing not to pit him, even though he's on the hards and could have pitted and gone miles to the end, probably even on the soft. And we are going to send it on George Russell, and we're going to send it on Sebastian Vettel as well. Two cars into one corner. We absolutely licked the stamp and absolutely sent it. And now we're going to have a look on... Carlos Sainz, we actually got Carlos Sainz round the outside, so that was three cars round the outside, three cars in the space of four corners there, and there goes um, George Russell, our teammate, battling away with Sebastian Vettel, he's going to get him round the outside here potentially, and he does overtake Sebastian Vettel, and now we are going to be left defending Carlos Sainz, as here he comes to at the inside, we have to get the elbows out now, we have to win this race we're side by side with Carlos Sainz we defend Carlos Sainz and now hopefully we can start to stretch our legs a bit but Carlos Sainz isn't done with us yet we're going to go very defensive to the inside we're going to have to give him the space but round the outside we do defend once again as on to lap 27 George Russell had actually pitted you saw him there on the soft tyres and his engine is blown for the second time in what five races because it blew up in japan so that's not good for us the safety car weren't deployed it was just a normal yellow flag and now the two red bulls are balloting away it is pig gasly going for it on carlos Sainz round the outside these two kind of battling allowed me to kind of stretch my legs and get away and now here comes Pierre Gasly trying to get past Carlos Sainz, he gets past Carlos Sainz there and onto that 30 they managed to catch us, they were battling for quite a while but in the end it was the Red Bull of Pierre Gasly that got away and now 6 laps to go and we will be getting the elbows out yet again to the inside trying to defend to the outside yet again but he nearly gets us down the inside there, does Pierre Gasly but we are not done yet here comes Carlos Sainz I think it is it's hard to tell which Red Bull it is but skipping on all the way onto the final lap we've done exactly what we needed to do we are going to take the win in Brazil it's going to be a Red Bull 2 and 3 so another fantastic victory for Williams today Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, Croft D, this was one through an abundance of speed and an abundance of skillful overtakes. Inside, outside, cutting underneath, we saw it all today. And it's really nice to see a Grand Prix won in that manner. A race, surely, that will satisfy the purists today, I think. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams, and they've got the race win to prove it. So, we take the win in Brazil exactly what we needed to do that's been your Brazilian Grand Prix but crucially Max Verstappen finished sixth he said we needed to finish sixth or lower so let's have a look at the juicy stuff so we for the championship we are now second and 26 points behind Max Verstappen so what does that mean well effectively that means that we have to get max points in Abu Dhabi we have to win the race and we have to get the fastest lap as well and all Max Verstappen has to do is finish 10th or higher to win the championship all he needs is a point which the odds are stacked against us if we do win it if we manage to win Abu Dhabi and get the max points then I think we would win the championship because it would come down to wins and we do have more wins this season than Max Verstappen but I'll work all that out and I'll 
and I'll mention it in Abu Dhabi but if you're excited for the title decider next time out in Abu Dhabi then make sure to like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the title decider goodbye